Hello and welcome to another video. Now here's where we're going to put the new gas filter on, the new air filter on, and the new gas pump. Uh, we're going to start with the air filter. First thing you do is just take this little cap off. And this is the old one. Uh, I just placed a couple of zip ties around this old one just to see if it would work. Uh, but it's pretty much, uh, it had a lot of oil in it uh, when I took it off. So when I took it off, I, I assume maybe it's still good. I even rinsed this out with some Dawn. Um, not only did I rinse it out with some Dawn, but I, I tried washing it with Tide. Dawn, it just would not clean that grease out of there. So uh, but for $22, I got the new kit and we're putting that in now. Here is the, the new one. Uh, and it, this here, you have to stretch over this. It's pretty well easy to do this. I'm hoping this kind of works more like a mass airflow on like a Nissan or other late model cars because if you have the right mass airflow to your carburetor, not only do you get better mileage, but it stays cranked and idles better. But uh, I believe that looks good. And we will now place this on. There it is. Next, this little lug here, it keeps that air filter there on that. Uh, I have cleaned out so much on this, this uh, John Deere GX85, uh, 13 horsepower. Now I know a lot of people, I've heard YouTubers say, hey, there's no longer an HP. There might be that way today, but this was back in the time where this lawnmower is over 10 years old. It is not only 10 years old, but you know, hey, uh, I got a great deal on it. I only give $400 for the whole lawnmower and it's worked for four solid years. The only difference is, is that you've got to put oil in it every time you cut. If you don't, um, it will burn the oil out. I don't know if that's a ring or, or what, but uh, we're gonna find out. Okay, there's the new air filter. And then I'll place the cover on top of that. Put this little lug on there. Also, I went ahead and, you know, uh, crimped off this line you know i didn't want to reach up under there there's a little red flap that goes from your gas tank to your filter and that filter that line thing has to be open if it's not you're not going to get no gas through there anyway but this on this one more it is way in between the seat and this engine and it's kind of hard to reach up in there and turn it on and off um, but we're going to do the gas filter next these are little what I call pinch clamps or whatever what you want to call them now I ordered some of these off Amazon I got well over I want to say about 60 or 70 in one pack and the other pack, I might have a hundred I got, but the first pack I bought, I think I only paid like eight dollars for it. Uh, they're a pretty good size pack. Uh, this is the first pack I bought, and it's got a lot of them in there for eight dollars. A lot of different sizes. Uh, from I want to say that's one eighth or one quarter inch, all the way on up to. I'd say three-eighths. 
and then the other one you just get bags of these now this one was i want to say 12 13 dollars but you get a lot of these clamps if you just go to try to buy one of these at like AutoZone or somewhere number one they don't have it they don't have those clamps they have the little turn kind and the problem with the turn kind is when you got vibration like on a lawnmower eventually that little phillips head tightener will vibrate loose and when it vibrates loose you're going to start leaking these kind of clamps don't do that once you tighten it it's done it's all done so uh i would highly recommend the, the, getting some of those little clamps there uh, if any of you write me in the comments, I'd be glad to give you the number uh, that's on Amazon. I'm not trying to sell for Amazon, uh, but uh, I am just letting you know where I get the part at. Uh, also, uh, right now, I'm not, not going to put the carburetor on yet. I, I did a, a little, uh, I had the spring, the little spring that goes on that carburetor choke thing it kind of broke off so i redid it reattached it and you can actually pull on that and you can bend it right at the end and make you another one without buying one now if you have to go buy the part for that right there just that little spring on that choke that part is over 100 dollars at like ag pro but you got to buy the whole kit you don't get just the spring so that's, that's the catch there. That's why I went ahead and um, I listened to a YouTuber called uh, Daryl Fixes All on YouTube. And he's very informative. He's got some great videos on there. And I can tell he's definitely got the technology to fix any lawnmower. Um, but anyway, uh, I would highly recommend uh, watching his channel also. But uh, on this here, uh, going to go ahead and re what what i'm doing is taking this small this large gas filter out the re only reason i like this is where you can see the gas going through it with this small one the original one that they you know go when you first buy this lawnmower you can't tell if gas is going through there or not so but this one here is just i want to say it's double the size and when it's double the size i just thought well, you know hey it, uh, it, it's not only double the size, but it, it, it's going to flood your carburetor out. Uh, it did work for a while fine. I want to say that it did. And I can't guarantee that that does flood out that float in your carburetor. But I'm going to go back to the original because I'm a I'm putting this new gas pump on there. I don't know if it might mess with the actual gas pump uh, mechanics of how the engineers designed it. So uh, we're going to go with this. And pretty easy to... Pull that. I'm just draining some of that gas off there where it don't get everywhere. Okay. And now we we'll go with this here. This here, are definitely a lot shorter, which that can be a good thing. Helping keeping this uh, from hanging on the tire. Uh, also, when you release the clamp on these uh, make sure that it's close to the end of the tube if you don't do that a lot of times you're going to get some air in there or you're going to end up with a leak uh, i learned that on like power steering lines on cars so uh that is just something that you might want to do you got plenty of room to do that. <laughs> and 
and always make sure you got some overhang on the end when you do release that uh, clamp onto that gas filter. All right, next we're going to replace the fuel pump on this one. Now, some lawnmowers like this one have a fuel pump. The others, I don't know if it's electronic or what, but I know fuel pump is usually way, way back, and today everything is electronic or computer. So, but we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll undo the lines first. Those are a size 10 on the uh, these two little bolts here. I also put a new coil in this lawnmower. Um, the valve adjustment on this lawnmower, I'm not really sure about, um, but I'm sure it has it. But I know a lot of the overhead valve ones uh, do have valve adjustment and it's pretty easy i did it on a uh just a small push mower for the first time the other day and when i did it i was really surprised that now it cranks the very first time every time so, uh, trying to make sure that i get all these on the right uh line and we will go ahead and reattach uh, from here. Make sure these line up like the other ones. I was really surprised this gas pump was only $40 after seeing, I want to say the guy was from Kentucky and he was on YouTube. And he said it was $88. Now, maybe there was a lack of parts. When there is a lack of parts, people go up on them. Uh, I don't really know. But um, I am one that always hunts a bargain when it comes to buying parts. Um, now, one thing I did not do is I did not want to put a replacement or a refurbished carburetor uh, on this lawnmower. Uh, those are run you about $60, uh, which there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, I just got burned a couple of times using refurbished parts. So uh, that's why I didn't want to go that route. Now, if you buy a new carburetor for this one right here, this GX85 13 horsepower, um, the new one at the dealer, uh, I wanna say it's AgPro. That's where I've been buying some things and they're very, very nice people. Um, I can't say enough about the staff uh, helping me and advising me you know, I know they wasn't trying to sell a part. I told them what I wanted, everything, and they, uh, you know, they were more than glad to uh, help me out. But uh, I just didn't want to pay 160 for a brand spanking new carburetor for this one. That's what it was, 160. Now I bought this one that I showed you in the other video. For I want to say it was $32. It might be a refurbished. I have no idea. But it's worth saving $130 to me. Alright, now we're going to attach the original line. 
This is the old one. And on this one here, I'll show you. This little screen on this one is just about pitch black. I don't know if that's where I put the two cycle oil in it or it has to breathe through that or to make this work correctly, but I'll find out in just a few minutes. But there's out with the old. And we're gonna attach the actual gas line here. <laughs> Always make sure they're snug. I check the old ones. What I'm seeing here is, will this thing run correctly with a new gas pump, which I thought it was uh, I seen from one person that said it was a filter and it's not a filter it is an actual gas pump on this one and if you don't have gas pumping you know what that means you're just not going to get gas to where you need it to get all the lines look good and tight I got these tight um, I'm having to zip tie this line a little bit up off this uh, tire here. Um, so I have some zip ties here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now these are white zip ties. Uh, white zip ties are not as strong as what you call gray tip zip ties. Uh, I worked in swimming pools for a short time. Um, we did swimming pool pumps. We had to have zip ties. The same thing on PCP pipe uh, that we, you know, had to replace pumps and stuff like that. We always used gray. They was always a lot stronger than these white ones. I'm just attaching this to this uh, little choke line here, which it should be fine. The main thing, what I'm trying to do is keep it off this tire. There, I'll lower it where it, uh, well, it definitely it ain't going nowhere there. I'm gonna put one more on it just to make sure. Uh, you don't want this to rip out. I can always shorten this cord, of course, and if I did, I probably wouldn't need these, but I kind of give it a little extra length because a lot of times if something goes wrong or a line starts leaking, a lot of times you can just cut that end of that line off and it will uh, it will reseal uh, without having to replace the whole line. Add one more here just in case this works. If it does work I'm going to actually trim here just to see if that works. If this deal works. If not Okay, so I got the new gas pump on. I got a new air filter in here. Uh, I connected that little spring wire that had broken. And from what I hear, those little spring wires on the choke 
uh, break quite a bit. Uh, but, I, you know, I'm going back to the original size gas filter, a new gas pump, and, of course, a new air filter. And from here, uh, I'm going to give it a try real quick and just see if it, if it runs. If it does great, I can say, hey, that's great. Well, it's definitely good news for me uh, because this thing would crank shut back off uh, I haven't did a longevity test on it yet and what I mean is uh, where I live here this is a good acre and a half uh, I don't own this uh, but this is just where I live right now finding a place to live today is very difficult uh, and not unless you want to move to a very rural area where there's not a lot of hospitals and convenience right around the corner. But uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, comment if you like. Uh, but uh, this is just something I tried. Uh, it cost me in all $22 and, and $41. Uh, the air filter, I think, has a lot to do with this cranking of how it did stay so uh thank you for uh, watching uh the only other thing i'm gonna add is i am gonna put a little bit of this k100 in there now anytime you're adding this to a gas tank never put the whole amount uh what you're gonna do if you put this whole thing in there number one you're gonna get too much octane in here uh it's gonna it's gonna burn your gaskets up inside your carburetor and that also goes for cars if you ever put if you ever get one of these stp or ever what this is a k100 they had if you put that whole thing in there at once you're gonna mess your car up so only put I want to say two to three ounces at the most. I'm going to go with two. Uh, I'm going to put two ounces of this in the uh, gas tank just to kind of kick it up a little bit. As I normally run uh, 93 octane in this lawnmower. Uh, and the reason is, is clogged gas filters. If you run 87, uh, this I've found out multiple, multiple times Number one, they will clog a stone filter up in a car. I uh, had an old Chevy, Chevrolet. I had to replace that stone filter. <coughs> Excuse me. Several times. As soon as I started running 93 octane, I never had to replace it again. But uh, that's the only other thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of this uh, uh, fuel treatment uh, to this. As I did put two cycle oil in this lawnmower by mistake it was the start of spring uh, not 